In this program, we are going to print array in ascending or descending order. So in the program, we have array of size 20. I and J are my looping variable. I'm using max and min as two variables to store maximum and minimum value during the loops. And I'm using temp variable as a third variable to swap two numbers when it is required to swap. And N is our number where we are asking user to enter number of elements he is going to enter. So I'm asking user to enter N over here. That will be stored at the address location of N. Then after that, I'm asking user to enter all the array elements which will be stored at address location of ei and after that i am initializing a0 that is first element of our array into max we are just initially assuming a of 0 as the maximum width so logic for this program is that we need to check each value with rest of the elements in the array and if we found any maximum number then we need to swap those values so suppose 10 was a of 0 and suppose somewhere a of 4 is 20 then we need to swap these values so we are running two for loop on the same array elements one is the loop of i and the second is loop of the j so inside of the for loop i am checking a of i is greater than a of j if the condition is true then we are going to swap two values we are going to replace value of a i with value of a j and we are going to replace value of a j with value of a i so that is happening over here so once this loop gets completed what we will have is all the numbers in ascending order so we just need to print those numbers using this for loop now now once we will have all the array elements in ascending order to print everything in descending order we can just simply reverse the for loop and print so if you just write reverse for loop of this part then you will have the arrays in descending alternatively we can write reverse of this logic so i'm initializing min with a of zero then i'm writing our two for loops i and j and i'm going to check condition if a of i is less than a of j then we will swap those two array elements and once this for loop loop gets completed we have our array elements in descending order and with this code we will just print all the array elements